All right, today we're going to take a look at Cami and all of the different things that it has to offer. Uh, this one is going to be much more of a broad overview of the different features of Cami, and as the school year gets into uh, deeper and deeper, we're going to go into a deeper dive for that. Um, the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is that you download the Cami extension, and that can be found in the Chrome Web Store, and it's going to look like this. Um, it's PDF and document annotation, and I'll make sure that you know I click on download, and when, when it does, what's going to happen is this K is going to come up here in your in your extensions bar. If it doesn't, you just want to click on this little puzzle piece. You want to make sure that you have it pinned. And when you do, you'll see it up there. So when I click on the K, a new screen is going to come up. And it's going to be the screen you see here. And it, there's a couple of different things that you can put into Cami for the students or yourself to be able to use for an annotation tool. Um, you could open up something from your Google Drive, and that could be either, you know, be a, an actual Google Doc, it could be a PDF, um, it could be a picture, different things like that. You can open up things from your computer if you want to. Uh, you can create a classroom assignment, or you can bring in a new page. If you click on new blank page, a couple of different options are going to come up here. You could have the ability just to have a blank page. Nothing there. Uh, and you can start your, your canvas that, that way. You can have a line page if you want them to do anything that way where you're having them write on it uh, with their stylus or, or, or finger. You could do a grid page if you're doing anything mathematically or, or for whatever other reason. And you could do a music sheet if, if you're somebody that, you know, has that, that need. Um, so for me, I'm just going to do a lined blank page. And what will come up here is, you know, all of the different things that you're going to see. Um, one thing that you'll notice is that at the top, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a name. So, you know, here's my sample document. I'll rename this. And you're going to see that there is the ability to open a file uh, or to save. Once you download the, the Cami extension, it's always going to save it automatically. You can still hit save and it'll, it'll go well that way, but it's always going to save. If you wanted to share it, you could click on share and then um, you know, you could upload it to Google Drive and then share it after that point. Um, it does work very similarly to how we're used to, you know, you could print it uh, and then you could download it into, you know, however you wanted to export it, whether you wanted to export it to your Google Drive with annotations, without annotations, you know, all of those different options. So at the top here, that's that's about what you have, you know, what you can get to. On the side, you're going to see uh, lots of different tools. So I'm going to go into another example, one in which I uploaded something from my Google Drive. This is actual, actually a doc. Um, and in here, you're going to see the ability to hit the select tool. And if you do that, then you know you could select different things. You could use that to scroll if you're on a computer. Um, you know, if you wanted to do select annotations, you could do all of those different things. Um, you have the dictionary option. So if you have somebody that needs to look up a word, you could just over there, over here and highlight it and the uh, dictionary will come up. You can do text-to-speech where you, you know, you're, t you're talking in there and you're putting a comment in or you're putting something for an annotation in. Then when we get into markups, there's lots of different, different options here. You, know, you could use a highlighter uh, and I can go over here and I can highlight the word solve and now it's gonna be in yellow. And if I wanna pick a couple of different colors, I can. There's not a ton of options here, but there's a few. Um, that I could use. I could do a box highlighter if I'm going to do this whole area. I want to do a paragraph. I could do a paragraph and I'm going to change that to green. And I'm just going to do that again. Now I could see that double highlighted. If I want to do a strike through, I don't want to do any of these anymore. I can. And if I wanted to underline, I could underline. So in terms of markup, that's you know some beginning entry parts. And that can work either with a trackpad or mouse with your stylus, anything like that. If I wanted to add a comment, all right, there's a lots of different ways we can add comments. So I'm gonna go over to another example and I'm gonna see here that this is a political cartoon. And let's say I wanted the students to um, do a number of different annotations on, on their understanding of what this means and then how that has changed over time. I could click on that and I could put in a text comment. Um, where I have it over here. You know, I could put in the text comment. I could do a voice comment. If I wanted to, I could do a video comment that you'll see over here. 
you know, and that's where the, maybe these are the directions you want them to do, and that's how you put them in. Um, and if you wanted to do a screen capture, like a screencastify through that, you could do that and, and show all of those different examples. If I wanted to add a text box, I could add a text box um, and, you know, bring that in there. If I wanted to use any of the equation editors, if anybody's out there in the math world, you can add any of these different symbols in there. If I wanted to do any drawing, I could bring in shapes. If I wanted to put in, you know, some different shapes here of where I wanted them to do, I could have all of those different things. And, you know, in each one here, there's a different theme, whether it's circle, triangle, or square for them to be able to do. We've got our eraser. And then this is where we could add in an image. And this image is actually how I brought in this one. But I could bring in something from my computer, from my drive. I could even search. So, you know, if I wanted to do political cartoons. And when I come up with one, you know, I'm going to bring in here and I'm going to import it. And I'm going to select it right here. You know, I can, I can bring this in and I could have them compare and contrast, you know, those two different ones if I really wanted to. And then lastly, I could bring in a signature. Um, so like I said, this is just a, a broad overview of what Kami can do. Um, and a couple of different ones, we'll get into how it can integrate in Canvas um, and you know some of the deeper and uh, more intricate features of Kami. If you have any questions, let us know.